What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! Uh, we have a... So this is going to be a video quick to talk about some scan tools. Because I want to see where I can get dialed into you guys the, the first. So I have several different scan tools here that I have. I have the Top Don, which we're going to do a separate video. Probably on all of these, uh, for the most part. Some of these, these littler scan tools, I'm going to do one, one video, probably one or two videos. But this is the Top Don uh, RDDAG 800BT, which I've heard a lot of people talk about. They want Top Don. And then we have the ThinkScan, which I've talked about. This thing, very underwhelming. But uh, these are going to be code reader type scan tools for just basic code readers. This is going to be a little bit more advanced because it has a battery. battery. We're going to do these three head-to-head -head on those. Then we're going to check out these against the CRP919E launch scan tool. Uh, and this is... Da, da, da! We have... The X tool! Which I heard a lot of people talking about. This is the D8BT. X tool B, D8BT. And uh, it's the Scotty Kilmer edition. Rev up your engines! <laughs> Come on, everybody! Rev up your engines! Vroom, vroom. That's all I thought of when I seen this, which is kind of odd. But uh, we're going to check this out and uh, against the launch CRP. So this is the $500 scan tool range. And then uh, we have another one. Well, let me show you the launch. We have the launch Diagon X431. We have the Altel 508. So these are all in the $500, $500 range scan tool and then we have the launch we have the launch 919e so we have a pile of these uh scan tools that are in the 500 dollars range and i also forgot i have the old altel um this is the al 539 that i've had this is a battery tester so we're going to test that one too in there but on top of that let me clear all this off because we got to that's a ridiculous amount of scan tools right there, let me tell you. But we also got another one. We also have the Launch Pad 3 here, which is uh, the next generation, which would be another $1,000. And what I want to see is, is what's the $1,000 upgrade get you versus the, this is brand new. Brand's making new, just got this in. Launch Pad 3, Let's see if we got juice to it. Let's see if we can fire this old gem up. Launch pad three uh, versus the rest of your thousand dollar, or this is your thousand dollar option for scan tools, which this is a 10 inch uh, tablet display basically. I think it's Android 10.0. We're gonna take this one, see what this one does up against those, and then maybe look at the Altel Altel Maxis. But what I'm trying to do is find out what's the what's the best scan tool for you. You know, I get this question so many times, and, I, and honestly, I keep saying it. There's no scan tool does it all, and that's why there's mo I have multiple scan tools. But, uh, you know, it's, uh, why does it say 9.29 p.m.? Oh, that's because that's how late it is. Uh, you know, never never ending for me, you know. Uh, we got updates for apps here coming, but come on, open up, fella. Uh, this is X431. Come on, little fella. The Pro 3S. X431 Pro 3S. So, yeah, we're going to take a look at this one here. See what... Uh, we got updates. Uh, we'll, we'll do that later. Come on. We'll do the updates later. But there's the layout on that. Pretty nice, robust screen. It is really nice. In fact, you're seeing almost exactly... My camera's actually making this screen look really nice it, uh, it looks the same to me as it does on the camera so you're getting a real real time look on it so i really like this uh, i'm really looking forward to this i did try it out a little bit um uh this has got android 7.0 excuse me so this would be about the same as your altel stuff so uh we're at 919's got 10.0 on it, android so we're going to talk about the differences see what your money's best spent on go over that you know Kind of see where it takes us, but uh, I wanted to get my feelers out there and just see where we're at on scan tools and who is wanting to buy what and what they're wanting to spend. You know, what is people looking for? So I need your help in the comment box. If you're not subscribed, 
now's the time to do that because we definitely want to get that. Uh, we definitely want to look over uh, a lot of things on here. Intelligent diagnostics, which we can't do that because we're not hooked up to a car, CP. We want to check out a lot of things with this and see where Bluetooth um, capabilities are as far as distance. I will tell you one of the scan tools failed me on uh, distance on Bluetooth. I uh, was very disappointed in it, and I've heard a lot of people brag it up and talk about how great it was. Um, yeah, I know the Bluetooth isn't connected there, fella. Okay. Uh, we want to cancel that, but uh, i got to go into demo mode. But service functions, remote diagnostics is kind of for help. I also want to talk about customer service. I'm kind of interested. It takes a freaking long time uh, to figure out where these scan tools are. Now, these are all new, newer models updated, so I don't... I don't know where they're going to fail for these newer model cars. I don't have the ability. In fact, here's a little story for you. Um, the car uh, had an 03 um, Chevy on or a GMC Envoy the other day. I posted a picture on my Instagram. I think I posted a picture here on uh, the community page. But uh, this is this is kind of the thing it is, guys, about this diagnostics and any working on any of these cars. There's over you know there's hundreds of different models of cars out there. Okay, so the reality of it is, is yes, it's great to have all this information on YouTube for other people to talk about and whatnot, so you can scout around and find your stuff. I can't test every model of car, so there's, you know, some things that aren't going to work. I heard guys even talk about how the Altel failed them and blah, 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 wouldn't do this and that, and that's that's not uncommon, you know. You're going to see that kind of stuff. I've gotten, I've got uh, just the dongle. I have a ThinkScan dongle code reader that's really nice. In fact, i got to get that one and talk about that one, too. Uh, but to find every single thing that works is just almost impossible. So I can't give you any definitive evidence of what scan tool is going to work for you on every single model. And I know that's what everybody wants, but that's the reality of it is, is that's, you're not going to get it. Uh, so I'm going to tell you right up back. If you're looking for the scan tool, uh, I can only give you the good, better options. I'm trying to, what I'm trying to do is, is, is tune in. You know, where if you only want to buy one scan tool, this is what I'm trying to help you out on, is find something that works the best, fastest, uh, gives you all the reliable things that you need to, and gives you the best data for your common problems, common cars you're working for. Domestic, Asian, whatever it is you're working on. Some of these are better at others. You know, if you're a German guy, uh, I would say the Autologic is probably the best way to go from what I saw. If you're a Volkswagen guy, Vagcom is probably the best way to go. If you're a Ford guy, I mean, obviously the, the factory diagnostic scan system is going to be the best. Nissan Pathfinder, uh, you're going to want to get that, you know, for if you're a Nissan guy. All this scan tool stuff, if you want a true scan tool that's going to work for everything, buy the manufacturer's one. Now, you know how much that's going to cost you? Uh, upwards of actually doing the math and talking to it, it was upwards of over $100,000. Uh, to get all the diagnostic software for most brands that, you know, like most major brands that I work on between Honda, Chevy, Ford, uh, Chrysler, all that, you know, the Micropod, all that stuff. So <clears throat> we're all trying to beat that by getting a scan tool that actually works at a decent price. And uh, I like to launch Altel. Uh, this Motive X is a new deal, Top Don. Those are my Top Don, Altel, Launch are kind of my three front runners. Uh, but I will say Altel has definitely taking a back seat and i'm going to get into that a little bit further why i don't I'm, i've been a little bit disappointed with alltel lately their customer service is knocked down one of the best uh software and stuff like that that's in these scan tools is kind of wretched a little bit archaic and i'll tell you another thing too here's another little bit of information if you're buying if you're buying a scan tool and you're worried about the updates don't worry anymore okay two years of updates that scan tool is going to be, and that's why I'm doing this video because I got to get as much information in each one of these videos as possible. But there's just kind of an entry level, a uh, uh, basic intro to what I'm going to do on on these scan tools. But if you're going to buy a scan tool, two year uh, uh, updates, don't even worry about it. S sell your scan tool, upgrade, and buy a new scan tool in two years. Technology is changing so fast now that this is what you want to do is buy a scan tool and just use it for two years. Some of them have some warranties for, or updates for three years. That's great. So it's updatable three years. But when that updates are up, uh, my my opinion is, is it's not worth uh, updating the scan tool. It's, it's better to upgrade the scan tool because your software is changing so rapidly. Obviously, if you realize this, you're using Android platforms like your tablets and phones. 
if you're using a tablet that's four years old, you are literally on archaic technology, which is going to be slow inherently because you don't have the processing speed in the scan tool is what a newer one does. And that's what I noticed with that CRP 919. If you watch that video, I was blown away the speed on that. It was absolutely dynamite. Well, then I found out it's on Android 10.0. It's really updated. Uh, this one's on 7.0. Obviously, you can see it right there in the corner. So it's not as fast. So, And like I said, we're going to make more videos on these scan tools, each one of these, and go over the individual things. And I have a lot to go on, but they're not popular videos, and I'm going to have a very select people group of people probably watching. Am I the foremost scan tool guy? No, I want to be upfront about that. I am not Diag I am not Scanner Danner. I am not Diagnostic Dan. I am not uh, Eric O. I am not any of those guys, but... I am well equipped to understand these scan tools uh, and in a mid-range level to understand these scan tools to understand how to diagnose, uh, program, uh, update, and use them in a very good manner. Uh, TPMS, all your all your modules, I'm pretty well rounded in that, uh, but I haven't I don't know everything about okay, but I do know the basics and I do I do I'm very very comfortable with giving advice to somebody to buying a good scan tool uh, that's going to be worth them, their money. I'm very comfortable with that. Uh, very, I'm very confident with that, too. So uh, that's why I'm doing this video. And uh, even the manufacturers were impressed with my knowledge when I was talking with them. Uh, and that's, I've always been in the scan tool game, guys. I've always been in the scan tool game. And I've always understood some things about this that make a big difference. So anyways, guys, that's my rambling on for this. This is my video super scan tool video and let me know in that comment box which ones you want to see and what you're looking for and how much you're looking to spend because price range matters um what how what manufacturers you're looking to work on give me those things in, in the comment box it kind of feeds me feed me some information so i help me to help you okay now i understand everybody's gonna want me to just pinpoint a video towards them but that's not going to happen, and I understand that. You should understand that right off the bat. If you think I'm just going to make a video based off your comment, that's not how I'm going to do I'm going to generalize the information, find the best data available to help the, the whole bunch of people and answer a bunch of questions. I, I definitely am feeling confident enough to do this and, and understanding these, and I've been playing with these things for many, many months now. Uh, these aren't this, this isn't something that I just woke up and started doing yesterday. You know, uh, I've heard a lot of... A lot of uh, mediocre information out there. Just scan tools are a difficult thing to understand. So anyways, guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.